So now I want to talk a little about our HTERT immortalized cells. They're very unique tools. So in order to understand how ATCC HTERT immortalized cells were created, we first need to discuss how replicative senescence works. Basically, differentiated cells exhibit cellular aging. As differentiation and replication occurs, the telomere, which is a region of tandem repeat sequences that sits at the end of the chromosome, begins to shorten. After two to three population doublings in vitro, the cells can no longer divide and die off. This process of cellular aging is known as replicative senescence. However, in continuous cells, such as cancer cells, the human telomerase enzyme, also known as HTERT, functions to prevent the shortening of the telomere, thus allowing the process of cellular division to continue indefinitely, causing these cells to become immortal in nature. Many investigators are interested in performing long-term studies which model the physiological conditions occurring in the human body. To address this need, we stably transfected our normal primary cells with an overexpressing vector for HTERT, thus creating the ATCC HTERT immortalized primary cell lines. So it's important to note uh, before we leave this slide that HTERT immortalized cells uh, give you the best of both worlds. They combine the in vivo nature of primary cells with the growth conditions of a continuous or cancer cell line. 